In Mountain View I had an interview with G, he's the co-founder of Listia. Uh, Listia is a marketplace where people can trade old stuff. Uh, they are founded about five years ago, they got about 7 million members and they already traded about 100 million items on their platform, so quite some uh, uh, impressive figures. You can watch the video at their YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Edition. And now I'm going to share some insights uh, about the, the uh, interview with Listia. I think the most interesting things are the first thing, how they got started. Uh, because uh, they first built the first version of the platform uh, themselves. Then they started uh, with an incubator program. They raised uh, $15,000. Uh, so, and they used this money to uh, buy old stuff everywhere where they could buy old stuff. Uh, and put uh, on their platform. And that, and, that, and, and that way they really managed to make the first start with the demand supply uh, issue that all platforms have. So they first uh, bought quite some stuff, put it at their own platform, and then <coughs> they asked all their friends, okay, can you help us to make this story of the platform uh, world famous? They also had the opportunity of uh, launching on TechCrunch, which was a great story. Um, <coughs> the other thing that is really interesting about Listia uh, is their credits. So people are trading odd stuff with each other, but they're not get, uh, getting money for it, but they call it uh, their own currency system, or like they call it themselves, it's a um, closed loop ecosystem. Um, so it's a closed loop, uh, loop ecosystem where people are getting uh, list your credits for uh, selling stuff to others, and also uh, spending the list your credits to uh, buy stuff from other people. Uh, so the, the reason why it's closed, because you will never get money uh, for your list your credits. So you always get all, all other, other stuff uh, for it. Um, and what I think is really challenging about that is they're really playing like they are their own bank. So like when there's inflation, uh, so when there are too many list check credits, they uh, buy back list check credits out of the system. Uh, they do that in different ways, uh, like that you can um, get, a, get extra features uh, for uh, credits, or they're buying a new stuff, put it on a platform, and that way people are buying other stuff uh, and, and spending the credits and giving it back to Listia. And so it's, it's really interesting that they're really playing like being their own bank. Um, it's also got some really uh, nice uh, side effects, like with the trust issue. Like when you have a issue, when people like when I'm going to to sell my my, my, my cell phone or my laptop to you, and uh, when something happens and uh, we have an, ar an, an uh, uh, and we're arguing about okay whose mistake is it, then they can say can say quite easily okay, let's give back to you both your credits because it's not really euros or dollars but it's a credit system so they're really flexible also in, in managing these kind of uh, kind of issues um, also a, a great a great uh, side effect of this credit is that they can uh, grow quite easy internationally uh, they're now uh, based in in the US and also open in Canada but they're also looking to get to, to Europe and of course you get your language challenge it's uh, I think a really a unique uh, challenge uh, everywhere in Europe, but uh, you don't have a, a, um, a currency challenge because never mind where they're going to start, they are dealing with list year credits, so there are no currency uh, challenges uh, involved with that, so that's a really big opportunity for them. Um, <clears throat> but I'm also really curious about what the tech services will say on long term. So now they got 7 million members, there are now uh, about uh, uh, 1 million trades already on the platform. Uh, they started with old stuff, but there are all quite some new items uh, or some expensive items like iPad of cameras being traded on a platform. Um, and in the end, uh, uh, we're also going to run a business, a, a business on Listia. Uh, in the end of the year, you have to, to say to the tech service, okay, I've, I've spent or I've earned this amount of credits uh, by using the platform. Um, but there's no tech services that will accept list your credits. So there, I think for now it's okay. But when they're going to get bigger, uh, there might be some uh, some issues with the tech services with that. And I, I think they have no idea what to do with it. So that's really really cool. Uh, the business model, uh, I think, is also a challenge for them in the in the in the future. They got now about over 10 million uh, on on VC investments. So that's a really a good job. Congratulations with that. Uh, so they're earning money. Uh, by uh, um, selling credits, so uh, when you uh, need, let's say, 10,000 credits for a camera, 
when you have 5,000 credits then you can buy the additional 5,000 credits uh, also on advertisements but I think they also got some 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 opportunities uh, with also getting involved with the transportation because uh, the transportation that's also a really important uh, part of the platform they're also now facilitating their members by uh, making a service where you can print your own uh, transportation uh, labels that kind of thing but I think that they, they maybe also when they, when they came to work with other transportation companies that use an API like maybe with Uber they can also get a, a, a fee of that and that is also a really interesting additional um, uh, 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 revenue model um, and uh, I also use Listia myself, but just a little bit because I'm live in the Netherlands, so I can't really use it. But I made an account and and, and and tried some things out. And I think the most awesome thing about Listia is that you can, because uh, yes, you can offer you your iPads or whatever for a fixed price, but you can also say, okay, uh, just bid on it. And I think that was really a nice kind of gamification thing. I don't know if you know Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. That's a way where people uh, are, are offering your services uh, online for $5. And when you start browsing the website, it's, it's really, you really get addicted to, to, to browsing because there are so many cool things that people are doing for you for $5. I think uh, I really had the same experience with, uh, with Listia because they also got an app. And then every day you start browsing, okay, I've got, let's say, 10,000 credits. What can I buy from this 10,000 credits? So it's not, I think, got some um, doubts about if it's really sustainable because uh, you're also getting stuff that you wouldn't buy, uh, uh, bought uh, in the first place, but only because it's available that you, uh, then you're going to, to, to buy it by using list credits. But it's really a kind of addiction to, to watch every day on your, uh, uh, on your app and see what stuff in your neighborhood is, 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 is available and what you can buy. So it's really, really a, a, a smart thing, but it's more of a fun thing than a sustainable thing, but it's also, it works, so that's really cool. Um, about their future plans, um, um, of course, the barrier of, of trading big stuff like this, uh, this desk is that uh, it's quite expensive uh, to, uh, to ship. So they're also now uh, having ambitions to, to more focus on local trading. And I think that's a really, really interesting step because then, because now the value, that, the value that's being created is more uh, economical value. Um, but also when you're going to, to, to uh, swap local stuff, then you also uh, uh, create quite some, quite some social value. Uh, so their ambition is to create a kind of an ecosystem of stuff and when you have things that you don't use anymore, then you can put it, then you can snap it with your iPhone and put it on the platform and then trade it with people in your neighborhood. And I think it will be really interesting to also create quite some social uh, social value. Um, and this also may be a good idea for them to talk to Peerby. Uh, Peerby is a Dutch platform, also uh, available in lots of other countries, where you can borrow uh, local stuff, uh, stuff from people uh, uh, around you. And of course, when you want stuff, you can make, you can do, uh, do two things, or borrow it, or uh, buy it. And I think it would be a great uh, combination uh, with PeerB to, to say, okay, I need this, uh, I, I want to have it, so I use the PeerB system. Uh, uh, so I use the Listia system to, to, to get it, or I want to, to borrow it, and I use the PeerB system to, to borrow it. But in a way, you're, all, you're, you're always getting creating quite some social, social value. Um, and what I think the most interesting about the future of Listia is uh, I'm, I'm getting back to, to the credit system every time because I really am fascinated about it uh, is um, when they open their, their credit system also for, ad for other platforms because now you can only spend your credits uh, just like the, flare, uh, the, the fly airmails of KLM of other uh, companies only at Listia but I'm really looking forward to think, and I also want to challenge them to think about a more collaborative credit of currency system. Uh, like in the Netherlands, so we've got quite some platforms uh, where people can, can trade uh, stuff or, or skills. Um, but in the end, uh, uh, when you're going to work with your own currency system, then uh, you can only spend at, at, at the platform you're, that you're using. But I think it's more interesting to look at a mere, a broad, a, a bigger, 
a social currency system, a collaborative currency system where people can, can trade. So like um, you're lending my drill uh, by using PeerB uh, and I'm going to, to, uh, to learn uh, 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 another people to, to, to play guitar by using uh, Connected, that's a skill sharing platform. So I think that we, we really want to make this, uh, on one side, this collaborative economy uh, big, but also get the maximum social value out of it. I think it would be really cool to, to think about a more uh, a global a collaborative uh, um, a credit system that will be used by different platforms because then they can really collaborate with each other and then you're really going to create quite a value. And also, they also can, uh, can uh, solve some uh, uh, issues about the, uh, the um, business model of the platforms because that's also quite a, a challenge. But in the end, I really like the interview, so uh, thanks for that.